Goldilocks Productions provides professional internet, TV, and radio shows in the spiritual and new age genre. Radio, this is a very exciting thing. So I am going to be playing with a few buttons here to make sure that I am on the right. Uh, hello and welcome to Facebook Live Messages from Above with Tony G. I am very excited to be here today on Facebook Live. Please be patient with us. We are still figuring out some of the technical stuff, trying to work through it, trying to figure out how I'm going to find out who my callers are. So I'm going back and forth between uh, the, the Facebook and the um, and the Skype page. So please know that. And know that I will be doing everything I can to say hello to everybody on Facebook and everybody on uh, on the show today. So be patient with me while I learn this. And I want to tell you a little bit about myself. I'm a psychic medium and a uh, a psychic medium and a uh, channel. I'm also a healer and a hypnotist. Very excited to uh, throw those in also. If you, if you have a question and you would like to call in, let me give you the call in number is 713-955-0332. Go ahead and, <clears throat> excuse me, go ahead and call in now and um, and we will get that going. So, uh, yes, yes, Tiffany, I can see you there. So just send it through there and we will be good. <laughs> so, so we are figuring this out. Thank you so much for being patient with us and this is really quite incredible. I'm very excited about it. We are doing all of this so that we can bring you a better um, a better broadcast, a better reach more people and bring a much better broadcast to you. So what we're going to do now is uh, go, and I want to tell you a little bit, that Goldilocks Productions is on Blog Talk and iHeartRadio. I want to thank Reverend Tiffany White Sage for all of the hard work that she does and, and just her diligence in making sure that we get to everyone as as much as we can get out to everybody and get to as many um uh many people as we possibly can at all times it's it's very exciting to me to be part of a radio station that is just so caring and loving and giving and really helping to promote you in every way that they possibly can um a little bit more about me i am a psychic medium i'm a radio show host and I'm also a television show host. I have two TV shows that I host, uh, Psychic Medium, Tony G, and um, Create a Life You Love. Um, both of those shows, TV shows, air on WSCS. You can see replays of them on my website, T-O-N-I-G dot info. Or um, on my Facebook pages, I post everything on Facebook. I put it on my website. I'm just trying to put everything everywhere I can. I put them on Twitter. And if you want to connect with me on any of those places, please, yeah, do so. Um, so yeah, that that's 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 what I have right now. So I'm going to send Tiffany a little bit of a message here. Um, and 
I hope you're laughing at me. Uh, so yes, so we're going to get to callers in a second, but tonight is the solar eclipse. Now for each person or each sign, this means something different. And this is the first time as everyone listening knows, this is the first time in a very long time it's been in the United States. Uh, we've been able to see it in the United States, I should say. But so uh, new moons signify new things coming in. Yeah, new moons signify new things coming in. Uh, where uh, full moons signify letting things go. So my biggest tip for this solar eclipse, because solar eclipse, uh, eclipses in general uncover something or show you something that you have not been privy to in the past. <gasps> Ooh, yeah. So now there, um, the solar eclipse um, is like a supercharged, high power new moon. If there are things you want to accomplish, if there are things you want to do, this is the time to start them. For each sign, it's completely different now. And what house the full moon starts in or the new moon starts in also makes a difference. I'm a Gemini, so I know all the Gemini stuff. Um, so <clears throat> I know that this is in the house of communication, which I'm pretty versed at. <laughs> Communication is kind of my thing. So go ahead and look up your horoscope and find out where this new moon falls for you and what it means for you and the superpower uh, solar eclipse means for you also. We're going to go to our first caller. Our first caller is 805. 805, hello, are you there? Oh, I'm here, hi. Donna, how are you? Hi, Donna. I am doing wonderfully. Um, uh -huh. How are you? I'm good, thank you. Good. Donna, where are you calling from today? Oh, California. Oh, excellent, excellent, excellent. Donna, uh, so I'm a psychic medium. Uh, do, do you have a question? Do you want to connect? What would you like to do today? Um, maybe connect. Um, I can hear the I can hear the uh, people on the other side once in a while, and I heard my mom and her, her voice tell me that I'm going to be rewarded. And then I over the past I've had two dreams with her, where I am celebrating. We're celebrating. We're joyful. We're so happy, and it was quite an occasion. So for her to tell me I'm going to be rewarded, I wanted to know if something good's coming up for me. Maybe meeting someone. I don't go. You know relationship on going to a marriage or maybe winning something or yeah I want to know what you're picking up from the other side what they have to say because that's all I heard from them was that I'm going to be rewarded okay so sometimes and this is one of those cases unfortunately sometimes they like to surprise us so we but, can yeah yeah so even that they for sure won't tell me because I got a big old mouth and I blow surprises left and right like if they were to, <laughs> if they were to tell me I'd be all over going oh my gosh Donna you are not gonna believe what's coming in for you but I'm not allowed to know that because they know I I just okay. blurb everything out of my mouth that they tell me um so what I want I to say any messages from my nephew any messages from my you who's on the other side okay so let's a year ago. okay that's let's let's back up a second and let me finish what saying what I was saying first okay sure. so this surprise okay. is coming in this reward or surprise is coming in and it is going to be um, it's going to be a pretty big surprise but it's not it's not going to be what you think it is but I will tell you it is coming in very very soon so um i would just keep your your uh mind completely open to what they are bringing you okay and okay. um you are going to love it 
But at first, you might not understand that this is the surprise they were talking about, okay? Oh, okay. Yes. Now, um, your nephew, how old was he when he passed love? 19. Okay, okay. Um, he's, he's coming in, and did, did he... Uh, Here's what I want to say. He is um, helping to orchestrate a big day. That's what I'm supposed to say. Oh, this is the message. He's helping to he's helping to orchestrate the big day. He's playing a very big role in this. He wants you to know he is going to be um, helping out on many levels with this. But it's a team effort. Everybody over there is working together. And of course, of course, they always say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Um, and to make sure that you know that that love is still coming to you and that you, you are getting um, this love coming in. Um, so he, he wants you to know that everybody over there has a, has a role they're playing in this reward or surprise yeah. and yeah. that they're going yeah. to be bringing that to you very, very soon. Okay, Donna? Oh, yeah. That it, confirms what I picked up from that because then I heard it again. And it's like, whoa, you know, we're doing something. So I'm, I'm very excited. Excellent. You know, when it well, I'm very excited for you also. And once you get this surprise, please let me know because I feel like it's kind of going to take your breath away a little bit. And I would, I would love to, uh, I would love for you to share that oh, with me. Definitely. Okay? Excellent. I, uh, how would I, would I get in touch with you on your website or just call the, um, the nope. same number yep. or nope. how do I do it? You can just connect with me by my website and shoot me off an email or uh, give me a little call. Either way, okay, it's what is uh, that what is that? Uh, Tony, T-O-N-I, G dot info, I-N-F-O, Tony, G dot info. Okay, Donna? Oh, simple. Excellent. Thank you, Tony. I appreciate it. Oh, you're so welcome, and you have an amazing rest of the week. Thank you. You too. And I'll get back to you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. We are going to go to our next caller right away. And our next caller is area code 512. Hi. How are you doing today? Hi, Tony. I'm okay. How are you? I'm doing absolutely wonderfully. How can I help you today? Um, well, is there a someone who would like to connect with me and um, bring me some clarity or insight into um, what is going on with, you know, my boyfriend, that would be great. And if there isn't someone, then I'm hoping maybe you can. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, I understand. Oh, here's the thing. I like really direct, specific questions, especially on air. If we're doing a one-on-one -on -one reading, you can be as vague as you want to be. Eventually, the information will come in. The more direct you are, the faster the okay. answers come in. You know what you want to know. And they, they'll start bringing information, but it won't be the information that you specifically are looking for. When we're on air, give me that specific question and that answer will pop right in. So go ahead. What is your specific question about your boyfriend? I'm wanting to know if he has um, changed his mind about uh, where we are headed with our relationship. Um, okay, so... <clears throat> is that... That's a good... That's enough? good. That's perfect. Thank you. That's direct enough. Okay, so... Okay. Instantly, a female um, from the other side has stepped in to help answer this question. Um, there's actually two females that have stepped in from the other side to help answer this question. And I feel like they're on mom's side of the family. So this could be mom and grandmom or grandmom and great grandmom. Either way, I hear mom. So that means either it's mom or on mom's side of the family. And they've stepped in to answer this question. They're saying um, 
the truth of the matter is that you already know the answer to this question. You're hoping that somebody will lie to you. And I'm, I'm sorry that they're being a little bit blunt about this. And I want to be as delicate as I can. We understand where our people are in our life and how they are feeling. We encourage you, we, we, we strongly encourage you to sit down with him and have a heart to heart about this and find out what can be remedied and what cannot. And so, oh, okay. So, um, you might want to, how do I say this? There's a lot more going on than you are understanding right now or that you've been open to right now. So what I want you to do is to think about everything that's happened and the timeline, okay? And I want you to uh, ask yourself the questions you've been afraid to ask and allow yourself to get the answers that are the truth. Does that make sense to you, love? Uh, okay. A lot of it does, yes. Okay, good. Now, here's what else I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you there are some things going on that you don't know about yet. You're going to know about them probably within a week to a month's time, you're going to find out about things that you don't know about yet, okay? When you find out about those things, you'll have all the answers that you need to make the choices that you need to make, okay? Okay. And, and remember, um, no matter, how do I say this? Um, sometimes we have a vision with someone and that vision is okay, but it's not in our best interest. It doesn't, it doesn't serve us. It's, it serves them, but not us. And so our angels, guides, God are always watching out for what's best for us. And we'll make sure that we are always in alignment with what's best for us. Okay, you you uh, um, you have to make sure that whenever you're in a relationship, you don't concede or give up your identity um, for some, for the sake of someone else or the sake of being with someone else. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. Okay. So I I really truly hope this was helpful for you. Um, he is second guessing a lot of things on his end. And when that comes in, it's just time to sit down and have that honest, heartfelt conversation. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for calling in today. And I hope. Thank you. I hope that this works out for the best for you. You have Thank a, you. I appreciate that. You're welcome. Have an amazing rest of the week, okay? Thank you. You too. You're welcome. That's a perfect example of what the solar eclipse can uncover throughout the week. Um, eclipses always expose things that we are not, uh, that we haven't seen, that we weren't ready to see. They expose things. Um, as things get exposed, don't get angry, don't get upset, feel blessed in the knowledge of what was exposed, and then move forward, okay? We're going to go to caller number 201 next, area code 201. Hello, how are you? Hi, thank you for taking my call. Absolutely, my pleasure. What's your name, love? My name is Rose. Rose, where are you calling in from today? New Jersey. Awesome. Rose, how can I help you? 
Well, I just recently started looking for work and I'm wondering what do you see with regards to my finances and my future? Okay, the first thing, as soon as you said, I just recently started looking for work, the first thing I heard is a month. This means within the month's time, you will have secured employment. Okay, now this might not be, um, uh, this might not, it might mean that you find the job in two weeks and within a month, everything is ready, set, go. Uh, but I also feel like you are, okay, <laughs> you're not looking forward to working. <laughs> Um, not right now, no. I'm, I'm enjoying the last two weeks of August. Yes. You're absolutely right. You're not. Because once I start working, I won't have a vacation. Right. And, and, and oh, believe me, I get that. I completely understand. You're not looking forward to working. And that's part of the reason why, really, the, 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 the floodgates are not open for your work right now. But they're going to be. Um, Within this month's time, you are going to secure employment. Be, um, be very open to, to different positions that you have not tried before. Uh, you're very skilled, and you can do a couple of different things. So don't be afraid to branch out and try something new, okay? I don't know what direction to take because I've been doing the same thing for many years and I love what I do. So I'm not sure where, what else to look for. Well, here's what I'll tell you. Write down all the skills that you have that you've acquired over the years and see what other positions that those skills fit. I feel like once you do that, you're going to understand you have a lot more opportunities than you thought you did. And you're going to understand also that you have um, a lot more skills, a lot more abilities than you thought you did. Even if you end up doing the same thing you were doing, you're going to find a way to, uh, uh, you're going to find a new way to do it okay and you're really going to enjoy this way you're there's some newness coming in with work is what i'm getting some newness and some brightness something that's going to open you up and help you uh help to push you forward in where you want to be and what you want to be does that make sense to you wonderful um well do you see that this is another contract job or is this going to be a permanent job with benefits? I feel like it's going to be a contract job and I feel like it's going to last for a bit and I feel like you are going to have a lot of luck with it. There's going to be a lot of luck coming in with this contract job. Okay. And but 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 here's what I'm going to tell you while you're in this contract position keep looking because something else is going to come along that will fit the timeline perfectly. Does that make sense to you? Mm, I guess. Meaning that if you keep looking you will find something that you can go right into out of this contract and it's going to be perfect for you and I feel like that's a more permanent position okay 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 thank you so much for calling in today I'm so excited I was able to talk to you thank you thank you excellent our next caller is from 860 hello 860 Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm doing well. My name is Amla. Hi, Amla. It's wonderful to talk with you today. Where are you calling in from, love? I'm from Connecticut. So. Awesome. Very cool, very cool. So how can I help you today? Okay, so basically I, um, it takes time, of course. Um, I feel really empowered. Um, 
end of July, I walked away from something that was a long time coming, but um, my energy and my um, intuition needed, or I needed just to need to be timing about walking away from the situation as far as the person I was interested in. So I feel really good about myself. I know what I want in a relationship. So I'm wondering what you see for something coming up as far as somebody new. Um, I really feel so good inside out. It was just that it was so awesome. Um, coming from my heart and, and, and expressing myself the way I did to the first sister. I think that was a lesson of me speaking my truth. Yeah, you know what? I hear congratulations when you say you left something. Right away they say congratulations, and they're saying it was a long time coming. You should have, you could have left much sooner than you did, but you, yeah. you kind of played it out till the end, so to say. And what they're saying is it's going to be six months before um, okay. before okay. you meet this new person. Now, this is a brand new person. It is not somebody you know. This is a person that okay. is, um, this person is very strategic. This person is uh, professional. I see that they're, okay. they're showing me this person in a suit which means um, pro that's, that's always a sign for, for them or me that this is a person that has a professional career. This person is, um, I don't know if this makes sense to you, longstanding in the community and is very uh, c committed and strategic. They might not move very quickly because in their mind, they plan out everything. And then they take okay. they take those yeah, and then they they take those steps accordingly. Okay, so they're not they're not um, they don't go by whim or whimsy. They go completely in a strategic way, and they, and this has benefits because you might call this person a person who plans out everything. They have really good character, uh, and they're very, um, <laughs> I love to hear this in partners, uh, they're very, very well funded is the, <laughs> the statement I am getting for this person, very well funded. So this is something you're going to want to uh, be, be very happy about. Um, also, this person, has they're repeating very good character and very and and it's also very kind but comes off very um not stern but comes off in a way that might they like on the outside they don't look like they show emotions or they wouldn't be a very emotional person but they really right. are a teddy bear on the inside. They're very kind oh. and loving and have good character. So there's their, they have their um, public face and then their private face. And in public, they have to have this demeanor that's a little bit more um, stoic, if you will. Very, very stoic. Right. So they're saying, don't let your first impression ruin this and don't have a first impression or a first judgment of people that you're going to meet, especially around that six month mark. Now, the holidays are going to be very challenging for you. You're going to feel like I'm not going to get through these holidays. I didn't know, you know, there are going to be some circumstances that come in throughout the holidays that make you question your choices. Don't just, it's just holiday stuff. Okay. Get past it and you're going to do amazing, okay? Okay. And I feel and like- Can I ask you, do you, do you know that we need by any chance? Or is it just a gathering? I feel like it's a public event of some sort. I feel like it's a public okay. event. Um, so, and you know, what okay. you what happens around the holidays might be something you hear um, 
about maybe an ex or something, don't let that get to you. Don't just know you made the right choice and move on. Don't second guess anything, okay? Okay, okay. thank you for telling me that. Thank you for, um, yeah. Yeah, the, thank so, you for that. So, sometimes they have warnings and those warnings we need to give. They're just as, I say we get warnings and we get wins. They're equally important. Right around that holiday time, you're going to hear something, whether it's about a loved one or your ex, and it's really going to knock you for a loop. And you just have to know that it is, um, you don't second guess things. Just keep moving forward. Don't let it take you down, okay? Got it. Okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have such an amazing rest of the week, okay? You too. Blessings. Thank Blessings you. to you too. Thank you so much. Thank you. You are listening to Messages from Above with Tony G. I am Tony G. I just want to tell you really quickly, I published my fifth book. I, I've written and published my fifth book, Channeled Messages from Above. Now, this book was really it was easy to write because, well, I wasn't writing it. They were all messages coming in from above their poems and statements to help us on this path. But it was really difficult to release it to the world because it felt so intimate. And I was so nervous about how this book would be um, accepted and so far, the reviews are stunning. It's it just, what a blessing. But part of the reason that they forced me, and when I say they, I'm God, angels, you know, the Holy Spirit, for, you know, they're like, you need to publish this book now because I could have written this book literally for the rest of my life because these poems are always coming through me. Um, but because I'm starting a whole new type of book and... Tomorrow night, I'm going to do the first uh, Q&A for the next book that is coming out. So uh, channeled, mes channeled Messages from Above is now available on Amazon. You can Google my name and all of my books will come up, um, including this one, which is so such a, it was such a blessing to be able to be the conduit of those messages in that book. Okay, so uh, you're listening to Goldilocks Productions on uh, Blog Talk Radio. And we are going to go to our next caller, 267, area code 267. Hello, are you there? Yes, hi. Hi there, what's your name? Hi, my name's Crystal. Crystal, I'm calling from Pennsylvania. Hi, Crystal. It's wonderful to talk to you today. Thank you so much for calling in. Oh, thanks for taking my call. Nice to talk to you as well. Uh, oh, thank you. And absolutely, how can I help you today? I'm wondering if you can give me some insight um, in my current relationship. Uh, do you see it flourishing um, to the next step? Um, to the next step, yes. Um, there are, okay, so Crystal, I'm gonna, um, boy, they're being really super honest today. It must be all the aspects in the sky. Um, have you noticed a few hiccups, what I'm gonna just call hiccups in this relationship so far, love? Pick up in a positive direction? Yes, and um, have you noticed a few things that you don't love about this situation? Um, yeah, I mean, yes, like, we know each other very well, so I'm very in tune. Okay, so here's what I'm going to tell you. you. This relationship is going to take the next step. It is. It's going to take the very next step. Step, and you will move forward from that next step. Okay, and you'll have um, you'll have a lot of uh, 
I, for some reason, I feel like you're just going to have a lot of time in the next step. There's th this next step. There's going to be a lot of time spent in this next step. Does that make sense to you? Um, I guess, yeah, I mean, I could. We do currently live together, um, but due to finances, like, I would like to move to a different place where it's, it's actually ours moving in. They're saying hold off on that. Wait, don't do that. Um, not yet. There will be a time when that is a better choice. This is just not the right time for that. There are, um, they're just saying it, this is not the best time for you to do that. Does that, um, does that help at all? Yeah, I guess I'm just, um, I feel like I'm at a cross boat road to do it. Is this the direction I want to keep going with? Um, or do I want to, because we have gotten back together after a really bad breakup prior. Right. Okay. So, so I guess that's what I'm guessing. Just, I'm not so sure if. Okay. In the right direction. Yeah. And, and again, they're saying, don't don't get any community property yet, and don't move into anything you can't handle on your own yet. Give this a year the way it is before you decide to take any big steps, like a house together. Okay. Um, when a couple just gets right back together, it's always um, good, you know, uh, but those, um, you have to make sure whatever caused the problems last time is completely resolved in both of you. And right. that, I mean, we're, back, we're nine months back in, so I mean, I, I do know exactly what you mean, like, is it resolved, was it Seems like it was resolved, and then lately, I don't know if it's my hip playing game for me, or no, it's not. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. Never ever doubt your intuition, especially when it comes to somebody that you're dealing with, whose energy you're enmeshed in. You see, when we start dating someone, or especially being intimate with someone we are privy like we have their we can know what's going on intuitively because we're in their energy also um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. just be very don't please don't do not do not don't 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 buy but don't, 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 don't take that step quite yet, okay, sweetie? Okay. You'll have. Okay. Um, if it, here's what I'll say. Here's what I'll tell you. If you feel like you are ready for a house, you find a house you can afford that you love, and no matter what happens, you can make the payments on everything with that house, and you buy that house. But don't put anybody yeah, else's. That's what I'm looking for is something cheaper actually than where I am at because I'm struggling, period. And so I'm looking for something just a bit cheaper or something that, you know, if I was able to do this by myself, I should the new place, but I just need something. Listen, I, I'm just going to say this. I think energy. I'm just going to say this one more time for you, and please understand I'm being as gentle as I possibly can here. It would be best for you not to put another name on any property that you purchase. And if you do this now, it's going to get swept up in the emotion of buying a house, and what's really going on is going to be ignored. And it's time to don't, it's not the right time. Do not do this now, okay, sweetie? Okay, thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the week.
Thank you so much for calling in today. You as well. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So apparently with the solar, reflex, solar eclipse coming in, a lot of truths are coming out today. A lot of reality is being brought in today. Um, we all want to believe that everything, if we just keep moving forward and ignoring a few steps, or ignoring a few behaviors or actions, everything will work out. Please listen to your intuition. You know when things are off. Do not second guess yourself. And do not, do not think that a next step is in order if things are not going perfect. Fix what's going on and then try to move forward. Trust me. Anything else is just the bottom falling out with a lot more falling out of the bottom. I hope that makes sense to you. Okay, next we are going to go to, I believe this is 956. Hi, 956. How are you today? Hello? Hey, thank you for taking my call. Absolutely. My pleasure. How are you today? I'm great. I'm great. And my name is Tony also. Hi, Tony. <laughs> How are you? <laughs> and um, where are you calling in today from, Tony? I'm calling from Texas, and I'm just waiting for that solar eclipse to, to get in. <laughs> oh, I know, right? This is going to be a very interesting uh, couple of days we have coming through, right? Yes. Yes, we should be getting ours. It's actually in progress, so to speak. How amazing. Oh, that's so wonderful. Yeah, but I, I will not dare to go outside because I know the eye and any other could not purchase the glasses. So, yeah. Just a little bit. Yes. So, did, Tony, did you have a question or did you have a, did you want to connect? Well, I have a question and or, you know, I have been single for two years, and I'm, you know, I think it's, I'm um, waiting to see if somebody new comes into my life, or possibility of a, you know, new romance. Yeah, okay, so, you know. so Tony, the first thing I pick up with you is there's a little bit of fear with um, moving forward into a new romance. You are holding on to something or someone from the past, something that happened or someone from the past. And, um, but, but now, um, there about, um, there was someone that came in like either six months ago or a year ago, something like that. And there was the opportunity then, but you, you kind of passed on it. That's okay. It was, it was good. But what they're saying is, there is somebody coming in, and again, this isn't going to happen, uh, let me see, within a year. Now, within, when they say within a year, that means between now and a year's time. Within a year, you're going to be in a full-on, very strong relationship. Now, because... In a year, it's going to be full on and strong. I am feeling like you are going to meet this person before the end of a year. I feel like this person comes in in approximately three months, and it's very light. It's a very light, um, very light beginning for the two of you. Okay, and it starts slow, in other words. It doesn't start hot and heavy. It starts light, which is good. And you really become very good friends, and then uh, at the same time that you're dating, and this gets turns into a very, very um, strong and passionate um, situation. And you are going to, um, oh, you know what? You are going to, in a year, this is going to be a very, very incredible 
relationship. Now I'm gonna ask if you already know this person. I feel like no. you you <laughs> may have I haven't I haven't yes, I have not. No I don't think I do. <laughs> no. Well, here's what I'm gonna say. You do not know this person yet. You are going to be introduced to this person in approximately a month, but nothing is going to happen then, okay? You're just gonna kind of meet this person, and then in approximately three months, everything is going to kind of start like, oh, hey, do you wanna catch lunch? Hey, do you wanna go, to, you know, uh, do you wanna go for coffee? Whatever it is, I feel like it's going to be a very slow build. Now, when I hear something like this, I think, oh, maybe this is somebody she meets at work. It's a coworker or something like that. But don't be tied to that because I feel like uh -huh. however it's whatever happens here, this has to build slowly because when you know something is getting serious, all your walls go up and you push them away. So they're kind of going to, okay. they're gonna kind of have you guys uh, go into this slowly and become really good friends and then it just goes naturally from there, okay? Oh wow, that's amazing, that's good to hear. Yeah, so I feel like- that's really good to hear. Yeah, in approximately a month, there will be some sort of introduction with this guy and then in three, in approximately three months, I feel like you'll start communicating with this person. Okay, sweetie? Okay, all right. <laughs> good to hear. Excellent. Well, it, it, really, it really is. Good, perfect. Well, just keep me posted on uh, what happens. I'll be happy to hear about this. Okay, sweetie? I will. Thank you, Tommy. You are so welcome. Have an amazing week, Tony. Likewise. Thanks. Bye-bye. You are listening to Goldilocks Productions Messages from Above with Tony G. And it's really just such an honor and a pleasure to be here with you today. It's my purpose. It's my mission to help as many people as I can while I'm here. Now, I've been a psychic, a channel, um, for as long as I can remember, and I've had some what we call medium gifts. You know, to me, medium means we see spirits or we can sense spirits, and I've had that since childhood also. Um, so this is, you know, people ask me, how do you do this? And I say, I, I, don't, I, I don't know. I do help people open their gifts for this, but it's just been so natural that every time I open my mouth, spirit is falling out of it, so to say. So I really am feeling very blessed and, and want to help as many people as I can while I'm here with this gift to help them to know that they are loved. Their loved ones never, ever leave them. They are cherished and they are light. Like, you are light. I want you to know you are light. Everything else is an illusion. Everything else is stuff that has been taught to us erroneously while we have been here. If you knew your true essence was pure light and love and you worked strictly from that essence, you would be amazed at how your life would turn around in a heartbeat. So many people are afraid to be love and light. They're afraid they'll be taken advantage of. But when you are pure love and light, people don't take advantage of you. They gravitate toward you to become like you. And that's that was that was definitely channeling because I didn't know what was going to come out, but that was it. So I'm going to go to the next caller, 312. Hello, 312. How are you today? 312? Hello? Well, 312 is coming through, I just want to also say that 
as you move forward over the next couple of days and couple of weeks, please understand that um, everything that happens happens for you and not to you. Don't get caught up in the propaganda that everybody is trying to push their agendas and just look past that and move into who you truly are and don't let other people's behaviors, words, or actions change how you behave. Okay, next, I'm going to go to 619. Hello, 619, how are you today? 619? Hi. Hello, 619? I can hear you. Okay, so 619, if you would like to talk, go ahead and talk. Otherwise, I'm going to have to move on to the next caller. Okay, so again, we are here today to bring you just pure love, light, and messages from above. And I know this one's going to be better. 650, are you there, 650? I am. Hi, Tony. Thank you for taking my call. I see the other two, they dropped just so that you could have a turn today. That was very kind of them, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, it was meant to be, yes. It was. So, Hi. Yes, go ahead. Yes. I have a question. Yes, and uh, so I am uh, currently living in a home that's a little bit cramped, and I really want to move uh, just for... I want to move into a home that nurtures me, and, but I'd like to stay in this area where I'm currently uh, in, and um, I would love to know what you pick up regarding this move. Um, it's going to be happening soon, uh, before the year. Yes, it is. So can I ask, what? where are you calling in from, love? I'm calling in from California. Okay. So here's what I'm going to tell you. In a month, you're going to find a place. Within, within a month, you're going to find a place. This place is very, uh, very good place. It's a very nice place. Um, and you're going to love it. It is in the area that you want to be in. Now I'm going to tell you that you are going to have to still purge some things. Um, it's always difficult to do that, but I feel like you're going to be ready to and you're going to want to. This new place has a lot of light and it is going to be really good for you once you get in it, okay? Now the purging part is going to be a little bit difficult for you, um, but the more you can purge, like of the, of the non-essentials, non the better you're going to be when you get into the new place, okay? Does this make sense to you? I've heard so much, Tony. Um, the fact is I moved a lot. So um, I, I'm currently having whatever I really need, and that's part of the reason I want to move. When I, yeah. it, it's just not as organized as I would like it to be. Right. But I have purged. I'm one of those people that doesn't like to live with butter and... Um, I often, you know, donate a lot of my items and sometimes I regret it because I'm just so much into getting rid of stuff because I don't want, and I'm not a hoarder. Right, so I, right. I actually, yeah, maybe, I'm not sure why there's anything I need to purge. Maybe what they're talking about and perhaps, and again, in a private conversation, you and I could talk a little bit more about this, um, but maybe they're talking about purging from the inside rather than your surroundings. So that's just a thought. Yeah, I've done a lot of things for me for the better. Yes. Um, so yeah, this, has, this has been a healing period for me. So again, even on that, I don't, I don't know. I've done a lot of work, Tony. Right. So I'm just ready to move and start, start fresh and, um, yeah. you know, make well, that change. Absolutely. And I can tell you, you are going to find a place within a month. And there's going to be one or two complications getting into this place. 
but once you're in, you're going to be very, very, very happy there. It's 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 a really just a very nice place. Okay. What publications do you see? Um, I'm I'm not sure. Um, it might be like something with the lease or the time frame. I feel like it's before you even get in. So maybe like you want to, maybe they need somebody to move in, but you have to give a longer notice. Um, I feel like the complication is before you get into the place, not once you're in it. So I, and I do feel like it is a timeline thing. I feel like this complication is a timeline thing. So some place, sometimes, you have to give such a notice, but the other place is available sooner, or it's just, there's a complication with a timeline of some sort here. It's going to be really easy to resolve. It's going to be very easy to resolve, but don't let that sway you away from the place, okay? Good. Does that make sense? Still in the month, huh? In a, yeah, you're yeah. going to find the place within the month. So between now and the end of a month, I feel like that two-week mark is very strong. So especially during that two-week mark, make sure you're paying attention to places that are available. But keep looking in between now and until you find this place, okay? Oh, I said, oh, so you're saying within, within this month, within the end of the month? Within... A month's time, you will find this place. Uh -huh. But I feel like at the two-week mark, it's very strong, but continue to look, okay? I got it. That's Excellent. Good. Okay. Right. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much, Jimmy. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you. You too. Happy eclipse. Oh, yeah. Happy eclipse. Thank you so much uh, for calling in. And I have time to take a quick question from 707. Hello, 707, are you there? Uh, hi, yes I am, how are you? I'm doing good. Now I need to let you know I have about two minutes left and I should probably be doing my exit, but I love taking callers. So I just wanted to connect with you and see if you had something I could answer quickly for you. Yes. Uh, do you see a relationship coming in before the end of the year? Yes. Okay. So you are going to meet somebody within three months. You are going to be meeting somebody. Well, okay. So I don't like to say this because this is pretty a pretty strong statement. But get out and about tomorrow. You might be surprised at what you find tomorrow. So make sure you get okay. out and about tomorrow. Uh, spend some time looking around, see who's looking at you. Also, I know for a fact this is going to happen within, you know, they, they give me the number three. They say tomorrow. Um within three weeks, I feel like you are seriously going to be dating someone, okay? And maybe by that three month mark, it's considered a relationship, but within three weeks, I feel like you really, really are going to be dating someone. So can I can I ask your first name, please? Oh, yes, yeah, Valerie. Valerie, okay, Valerie, I feel like the person coming in is very strong, a very um, a very nice build. This person has a very nice build and is a, a very strong-willed person. Now that might also mean that this person is a little bit stubborn, but that's okay because you're going to be able to negotiate a lot with this person, okay? Um, and this, and this person is going to really change a lot of your perspectives about, um, oh, about life and relationships. This person is going to help you to understand life and relationships better. 
this person is that's coming in they're not a teacher from the other side but they're going to help to teach you about um for for whatever this means life and humanity and humanity here especially okay now i can't okay. i can't tell you exactly what that means because you know that's that's part of the lesson and i will tell you that this person Again, they are very strong physically and they are very strong willed. They're somewhat successful and they have a really good life. They like their life the way it is. They're looking for someone who compliments their life. You just have to make sure this person also compliments your life. And I feel like they will, but you have to be a little bit stronger in this relationship. Don't get, um, don't be the, yeah, that's okay, from the beginning because it, that, that will be the expectation throughout the relationship then. You need to really state what you want and how you want it from the get-go. So it doesn't feel like, oh, now you're changing things. It has to be consistent from the beginning. So you need to show up strong and ready for this, okay? Okay. Does that make a little and bit? Do you see this? Go, go ahead, love. What? And do you see this as a long-term relationship? Um. Yes, I see this as a longer-term relationship. I can't say this is um, forever after because both people have free will. But I can say the way it looks right now, this will definitely be. A longer term relationship and you will um, and you you will enjoy it you absolutely will enjoy this relationship absolutely does that make sense to okay. you yeah because I was also told that she was very successful and um, are you seeing that I did say he does, I, I believe I said something earlier saying he does, um, I don't remember the exact words, but yeah, he is, he is, uh, he has a pretty good life and he is uh, somewhat successful, yes. Yes. Okay. And the one thing I, want, I, I do want to stress that you need to be strong from the beginning in this relationship, okay, love? Okay, I will. I certainly will be. Okay. That doesn't mean try to bulldoze or get your way. That just means you have to stand strong in what you want and what you believe, okay? Right. Yeah. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. Well, thank you so and much. And I will call you back. I and hope so. You know how it goes. Yes, definitely keep me posted in this, okay? I will. Thank you so much. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the week. You too. Thank you. You are Thank listening. Bye-bye. You. Bye -bye. you are listening to Messages from Above with Tony G. Thank you, Tiffany, so much. Put everything together for us and just all the behind the scenes work that you do. Just so grateful to be a part of your family on Goldilocks Productions. Uh, you can listen to the show on iHeart and a number of other venues, Blog Talk Radio, um, Stritcher. I think it's pronounced Stretcher. Stritcher? Stritcher. I don't know. I'm not in the know on hip and trendy things, but there also. Sorry for mispronouncing that. Um, I am here every single Monday at noon central. 1 p.m. Eastern. I will be going Facebook Live hopefully every week with the show now, which is amazing because then we just get to bring more people, messages from above and love from heaven and every place else. If you'd like more information about me, please visit my website, Tony, T O N I G. Dot I -N -F -O. That's Tony G dot info. If you would like to schedule an appointment, you can either go to my website or you can call 414-897-2869. 
I take phone appointments, Skype appointments, and of course, in-person appointments for all of the work I do, the hypnosis, the healing, the channeling, the medium work. Also, um, I will be releasing a new TV show. I'll be posting them on my Facebook pages. Uh, probably this week, hopefully, I'll get around to that. So stay tuned for that. A brand new psychic medium, Tony G. And create a life you love with Tony G. I think that's everything. I want to wish you a very happy happy week filled with love and light and if you are taking part in the solar eclipse that is going to happen this evening please use the glasses don't be brave no don't be brave there's a reason the glasses are there there's a reason there is a warning whatever it is that happens for you due to this solar eclipse and new moon Put a positive spin on it and make it work for you. Remember, your angels, your guides, your loved ones, they're all working to help you have a better experience here on this plane. This plane is all about love and light. It is supposed to be about evolving to higher levels of being. And if you can allow yourself to come in and evolve to those higher levels of being. That doesn't mean being pushed over or stepped on because that's the first thing people think. Well, then people will take advantage of me. No, it's about being who you truly are, who you came in to be. That true essence, that spark that ignites you in this world. Put it to use for yourself and for everyone else here. And people will gravitate to be like you. They'll want to learn from you, to be around you, and to be on that journey with you. I, I'm, I'm not sure how much time I have left, and I hope I have time to say this. Wherever you are now, vibrationally or frequency-wise, you're drawing in the, that level of person. So if you're on that those um, fearful energy level, then you're pulling in fearful people. So the higher you go, the more you expose your love and light, your true spark, the higher the people are that are going to come in to be around you. Like attracts like. Plain and simple. If your frequency is 90 and you want to be at 1,000, you need to start moving your frequency up so you can be at a thousand and be surrounded by that frequency of a thousand with everybody else. All that is is letting go of the hurt, the pain, the suffering, all of those emotions and thoughts and past and being, not acting, but being the love you came to be. Thank you so much for tuning in today. I look forward to next Monday when I can give you your messages from above. Thanks and have an absolutely amazing week.